Welcome to the podcast Friday Feels, brought to you by the Office of Counseling and Wellness at Berkeley College. I'm your host and personal counselor, Sarah Nickerson. Join our journey with Berkeley students as they navigate the challenges of the current pandemic with strength, creativity, and wisdom. New episodes released every Friday. Thanks for listening. Okay, so welcome to Friday Fields. Uh, we're really glad to have you today. So tell me a little bit about yourself. Usually we have the student start by just sharing whatever it is they'd like to share. Um. Okay, well, my name is Alicia. Um. I'm at Berkeley College. I finished in May of 2021. I'm nice. going for my associate's degree in marketing communications. Um, wow. It's crazy, right? It's crazy because I started, actually wanted to be um, do journalism, but they didn't have that as a major. So I ended up just choosing marketing because I wanted to start my own blog at the time. And I was like, I don't know anything about marketing, so let me just go for it. So then... Um, I did that. I started to get involved in school, and um, I'm on the Student Government um, Association, so I'm the treasurer there. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> I work for um, student life, student campus life development um, it, at the school as well, so I'm very, like, busy. Into all, yeah, I like to say busy. Um, yeah. Right now, um, my birthday is next week. I'm excited. <laughs> so nice. that's fun. Um, what else? I don't know. Um, I think I mentioned that I want to be a writer. Well, no, I, I want to do yeah. journalism, but I want to be a writer. Um, I'm interested in psychology, so I think I'm going to go back and try to get my master's or something and, like, to be, become a licensed psychologist or a PhD. Nice. Like that. Yeah. That's so, great. I, mean, I know, I'm going for it. I'm going to be in school for a long time. <laughs> That's fine. It's but worth it if you're doing something. It's worth it. Yeah. It's so worth it, it's, so I don't even Especially mind. if it's something that you're, like, interested in and you feel right? passionate about. Yeah. That's think, great. Like, right? I think the human mind is, like, something that, you know, it deserves more in-depth conversations about because we mm. don't talk about those things a lot. So Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's great. Um, so tell me a little bit about how you've been feeling in the pandemic, um, with everything that's been going on in the news, the Black Lives Matter movement. What's important oh, to you boy. these days? Oh, boy. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> everything is important. Um, it's so crazy. Like, I would have never thought that around this time we would be living, or I would even experience anything this crazy. Like, it. I think the pandemic itself, it is – it was necessary because we were so engulfed in our own lives. I mean, not mm. like, you know, um, the sickness and everything, like people dying, like that was, that's extreme. But um, right. as for, you know, mental health, um, personal health, you know, all that, like self-care, I think that's so important, like around this time that we're supposed to really focus on ourselves and getting ourselves together and making sure we're healthy to go back out into society and making yeah. sure that we're protecting everybody around us. Um, yeah. I recently just lost my dad. Um, oh, April 7th. So I don't know. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> but um, that alone, like, that kind of changed my mentality, considering everything that was going on. Because that was, like, the peak of the pandemic. Like, like yeah. right in the middle of, like, April. Like, that's when everybody was, like, so many cases. And, you know, unfortunately, um that happened so you know we've been mm -hmm. dealing with that my family and I and I think it just brought a whole different light for me personally and then you know now trying to find myself with as a young black girl you know yeah. in this society working the job that I work you know being involved mm -hmm. in the things that I'm into and then even mm -hmm. like now because of the career path that I chose it's like do I still want to do this like I'm gonna have to be doing these hard topics and it's like you know, mm -hmm. who really wants to sit and talk about it? You could become the most hated person and then, you know, everybody turns on you or, you know, you say the wrong yeah. thing and then so it's like, you know, so I don't know. I think it, it's just like, it's a lot. It's a lot to yeah. deal with. It is a lot yeah. to deal with. Like, yeah. It's, it's I'm sorry. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, you keep yeah, talking. Um, <laughs> I just think it's crazy. Like, um, people don't understand, like, how serious this pandemic is, like, 
it's taking food out of kids mouths like I'm happy that mm-hmm. I'm out of school like high school and co- like I'm in college and I can actually take care of myself because I'm thinking back in the days when I had to sit and kind of depend on that school lunch or that breakfast or something like that so it's like right. I know what that feels like and for the kids mm-hmm. that probably don't even have it and that freedom to get out of the house when you know or see their friends when they want to like they don't have that right now and it sucks because you know you don't know what people are going through at home so that's right. that's one thing that's on my mind about mm. the whole pandemic um yeah. honestly when it comes to like the whole black lives matter i have so many things that i want to say about that because it's just like same all uh it's so crazy because i'm sorry it, it's just no like, it's great you, i don't know what to say like it's it's been going on for so long and I'm happy that right now everyone is together, but I feel like we should have more of a, like the unification is there, but like when they said like there's, they, when they said there was like no leadership, I kind of saw what they meant when it was just like everything's out of control, but it's like, they don't understand how we really been oppressed. Right. Like, we've really been in this whole systematic like circle like everything has just been going in circles for us like we've never had a straight path and now the right, time right. when we actually want to go for things and we're trying to have our voice be heard it's like they just yeah. want to take it from us of and course, it's not yeah. fair like even mm. and it's not even just you know the black people it's minorities as well because look at right, all the businesses right. that's shutting down you know what i mean yeah, and, and yeah considering the pandemic it's a lot of our businesses that's being shut down like these white people they st- i'm sorry i didn't mean to say what no it's but. fine nope it's fine <laughs> but they well they they get to still go to work they work in these corporate mm. offices they still making mm-hmm. their money and they're making their money right. off of us because they're broadcasting what's going on they're still making money so it's just like now we're losing out on our businesses. Our stuff is getting destroyed. And it's been like that for years. It's been like that for decades. Mm. It's been like that mm. since before I was even existing. So it's just like right. I'm proud. But at the same time, like, I don't feel like personally I would go out and do it. Like, I'm doing it in my own way. Like, I'm standing sure. I'm working on myself. I'm working on making sure that I have a strong foundation so that when I do go put myself out there, like, I know I'm knowledgeable I'm not mm. ignorant about the topic. That's why I don't say too much about it because I feel like I don't know enough about my own history. And that's another issue. Mm. When I was in school, I wasn't learning anything about black history. Like, we right. have a shortest month of the year. Yep. You know, now we have Juneteenth, which is literally just a day in the month of June. You know, mm. we don't really have anything that's concrete that's like, okay, we're going for this. Like, And even, like, when they said, like, the civil rights movement, that took years for something to happen. Yes. Like, it took years yes. for those actions and what Martin Luther King went for and Rosa Parks and Malcolm X. Like, it took years for those um, at, um those rights to be put in motion. Like, and mm. I feel like we're doing all of this now, the protesting, and then we're not going to see nothing till years to come. And even if mm. it does change, it's not going to change enough. Like, it's going to change that still betters the the white man i'm sorry it's the truth yeah like, it's yeah. not it's not nothing that's gonna benefit us and you know it sucks to say like but it is the truth yeah but, um yeah, yeah like i just feel i just feel like you know everything could just be better like people just make everything seem so difficult like you don't have mm-hmm. to beat up on a person if they not following you know what i mean like right Police officers are in a whole different story. Like, don't get me started on them. <laughs> like, know. it's so crazy how you can have such a power of authority and you're just abusing it constantly just because yeah. you think you can. And right, then, and such a short amount of training time for it. Oh, my God. Like, I really feel like all these cops need a mental evaluation. Like, each mm. and every one of them. Like, they need to just shut down the whole entire police station, get them in some type of deep counseling, and really work with these people because they're supposed to be out here protecting and serving us. Like they're not supposed to be out here killing and murdering people's kids and people's families right. and people's fathers. And you know what I mean? Like they're not supposed right, to be right. doing that. They're supposed yeah. to be supporting us and mm. leading us and guiding us and protecting us because yeah. how are we supposed to be unified or the United States of America when there's nothing united about anything that's going on in here? Right. You know right. what I There's mean? There's a lot of separation. Like, yeah, for sure. It's too much. It's way too much. And it's just like, it's so bad. Like, it, it's just so unfortunate that, you know, 
the um yeah. that they have to be that way because absolutely people choose to do those things like they just say okay i'm gonna go to the um to be a police officer and then they still have their own moral they use their moral values and their views on things to dictate how they go about situations like oh right. i was protecting myself you're protecting some like you're protecting yourself from somebody that was what picking up like a hairbrush or picking up mm-hmm. the paper that you told them to get Mm-hmm. How? Or getting some skittles some or dancing some music. Right. Like, mm-hmm. come on. Like, yeah. it is so bad. Like, there was this video I had seen on Facebook with this um white man. They was trying, he was resisting arrest. Um, They were trying to take him out of his vehicle for some type of something that he did. And I was just like, yo, if that was a black person, they would have yep. used so much force. They would have dragged mm-hmm. him out of the car already probably shot him or something like they would have been doing the absolute most when it came to him and you know on top right. of it in the video he stole a cop car a black yep. person would have never even been able to get out of their own car <laughs> i'm sorry like they really would not have been able to do it like how and they was chasing him like oh robert yeah back. robert i know i, was I saw let that have been uh trayvon let that have been an Aub- aubrey like come mm-hmm. on they mm-hmm. would have shot him right there on the spot and not even mm-hmm. blink about it mm-hmm. and it's just it's so sad i can't yeah yeah well what do you feel it's like so for bad. you so i know you said you're you're kind of working on things in your own way what's been mm-hmm. meaningful for you or what's what's um like what has empowered you or or helped you to be able to move forward in a way that felt right for you honestly um my faith yeah. Uh, because I am a strong believer and, you know, God knows what he's doing. Like, that is mm. my thing. Especially because of considering what I've been through already. It's just, like, you can't mm. question what's going on. Like, whatever is mm. happening is happening for a reason. And, you know, you just thank him every day that you're here. And even though you have to live through it, that it would get better. Like, that's mm. that's been my thing. And mm. I just, you know, stick to that. I have, like, my friends that are so, you know, like, they're devoted to that as well. And, you know, they inspire me. Like, they're doing things that, you know, motivational. Like, I'm, like, and inspiring. Like, they're, you know, they're not out. Like, they're not the statistic or we're not, like, the stereotype that everybody thinks that we would be. Like, for Mm. me, it goes back. Like, I used to get a lot of, oh, you're black, but you sound like a white girl. You know, like, Mm. like, oh, you're an Oreo. And I'm just like, how? Mm -hmm. Mm-mm. Like I was born and raised in Brooklyn, okay. I'm mm-hmm. from New York. Um, what is what else is there? Like I'm, my whole family is black. We're, we're all from a different country. Like, come on, like, mm. it, yeah. What is it that's because I articulate my words that I don't have mm. to curse and scream to get my point across about things? Like, and these are the mm-hmm. conversations I sit and have with my friends. Like, imagine, yeah, a whole bunch of teenagers yeah. sitting and having these conversations because it's what's going yeah. on around us, and it's like, yeah. We have to live with it. And so that's my way of coping. Like or like yeah. dealing with what's going around around me. Like going on around me. Like I I just talk about it and, you know, I express how I feel. And I do that mm. like through like my social media. Yeah. Um I try to be as, you know, vocal about it because or not too vocal to offend people because for whatever reason people like to be offended by things that has nothing to do with them. But, you know, you know how that goes. <laughs> it's yeah, crazy. Yeah. But um, but yeah, like I just try to, you know, focus on the positive and know that things will be better. Like, mm, mm. I feel like you have to get through the bad to get to the good. So mm. if this is the bad that we have to all see together, then let's right. do that. You know. So right. Well, and, yeah, that. you have to be able to. <laughs> Yeah, you have to be able to see the bad to be able to heal it, right? Like, right. I think that's yeah. been a huge problem is that, um, especially the white community has turned their face away or have, mm-hmm. you know, tried to ignore or um, downplay or whatever. And yeah. there has to be an acknowledgement of the years and years and years and years and years of oppression for us exactly. to move forward. And that's uncomfortable, but it's necessary. And you know, it's been far more uncomfortable for you. Um, Honestly, because I'm living proof of, <laughs> right. you know, a hard black woman a working and a yeah. hard black man that slaves every day to, you know, protect yeah. their family and make sure their family's taken care of. Like, mm. it, it's just, 
an unfortunate truth that everybody's now waking up to, and mm. I'm happy that it's happening. Yeah, but, of course. Like I said, I may not physically be out there walking. Of course, I want to, but I already know what it's looking like. These cops, I'm I'm scared mm. for my life, honestly. Right. I don't want to be right. taken out because somebody want to be ignorant and pull something. You know right. what I mean? So right. it's just like, yeah. I could, yeah. I'm supporting from a distance. So. For sure, for sure. And um, did you, like, do you and your family talk about these things a lot? Like, what does that look like for you? Um, um with your, with yeah, your we do. <laughs> we all have our own, you know, opinions about everything, and we just, you know, we don't really take it out and carry it with us. We kind of just talk about it here, and mm. you know, my mom specifically, like, they grew up in a different time. So right. for them, they didn't really see this. Like, they've seen it probably, like, on TV, or they've never been through it. So it's just like, whoa. Mm. Like, they don't even mm. need to be doing all of that. Like, that's, like, really unnecessary. So, mm. wow. Like, we're explaining it to her or like, explaining it to them. It's just like, at the end of the day, like, they feel, and I think we all feel, like, this is just being something that is being allowed to happen like, there's so many ways to control and diffuse these situations so that things mm-hmm. like this don't escalate to where things mm-hmm. are being destroyed and properties are being vandalized and all this extra stuff. Like, we we think highly, like, on education and making sure, like, you know, you know, about yourself and you know, like, where you come from and how right. you protect yourself in situations like this. And then you have – I have my niece. She's only two. So it's like – she it, it's we're trying to protect her innocence you know what I mean like right, we don't want her to right. see that yeah. like yeah. and I think that's where a lot of people fail at when it came to bringing up their kids because look at like <laughs> look mm-hmm. at this world mm-hmm. like you know what I right. mean right I think yeah that, and it all starts in the home I feel right. as well like yeah yeah so what do you feel like um, needs to happen for real change to take place I think everybody just needs to shut up and listen. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) that is it. I think they just need to shut up and hear like what is really going on. Like honestly, because it's just like you could say I understand, but you're not experiencing it. And I feel like that's another thing. You need to experience like not the bad things, but I feel like if it was on the other end or you was on the other end of the spectrum, what I'm seeing, then you will have a different opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and that's how it always is. I feel like they just need to take a step back and become the observers and not be the, Mm. um, the ones promoting it. You know what I mean? Or like, yeah. Giving out all that negative energy. Like, Mm. they don't see it. They don't see it the way we do. So I really think that they just need to shut up and stop acting like, you know, it's the end of the world for them. And that, mm-hmm. you know, nobody's listening. Like, no, you guys mm-hmm. aren't listening. Like, mm-hmm. we've been here. Mm-hmm. We've been screaming about this. Like, all these people that is just, you know, like, popping up and then they're disappearing and all this extra stuff. Like, listen, mm-hmm. people are out yeah. here crying out for help. Like, we, you know what I mean? Like, we're here. We're humans. That's all. Yeah. We're all yeah. humans. We all bleed the same blood at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. when we die, we all go six feet under. You feel yeah. me? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 like, for sure. There's nothing different about anybody other than the color of their skin. But at the end of the day, if you really think about it, like, you know, when I think about it, I know that, you know, God made everybody in an image that replicates himself. Mm. I'm just saying. I'm not saying yeah. that. Like he, he's not, um, you know what I mean. Like he, he's everything. He, he's everything. So for somebody to sit and like, you know, dictate you about or judge you because of the color of how you look, mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. it's like, who are you really judging? Like you don't have that, you don't have that authority to judge me. <laughs> you can judge yeah. me whatever other aspect you want to, but something that is unchangeable, like I can't change mm-hmm. the color of my skin, and I wouldn't right. want to do that. To look like anybody right. else so it's just like mm. there's some things that they need to understand that they can't control yeah and they want to control yeah. it that's the problem they want to be in mm-hmm. control of everything that's why they have like all those skin bleaching stuff all that stuff like all this mm. stuff it's not on it's not like it's not on purpose you know you know 
right. Like, Right. It's for a yeah. reason. Like they know what they're doing. Like, and they make it seem like they're so mm. dumbfounded. Not everybody's talking about it. Like, no. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so. Yeah, good. for oh sure. God. Yeah. Well, it's good that. Um, <laughs> no, you don't need to be sorry. I'm glad as you have really powerful things to say, and they're important. Um, and I love what you said about you know empathetically listening. I think a lot of what I see yeah. in the white community is people responding out of maybe a sense of shame and guilt without really, like, taking the time to feel or to listen, like you said. Right. And it's almost like, like a trigger response. Mm -hmm. You can't feel guilty for what's happened in the past. What you're doing right now, like, your action, like, how you're acting towards me is you telling me some, something that's very racist and derogatory mm. and, like, very negative. It's like you're the cause of that, not what happened in the past. And I'm saying, mm. us, we're not mad at slavery. Slavery happened. We're not mad mm. at, you know, the, the lynch, the, like the lynching, all of that. Like, of course we're mad at it, but it's like, it, that happened in the past, but the fact that it's still mm. happening now mm -hmm, is a problem. Mm -hmm. That's what right. it is. Like, it, right. it shouldn't be happening if we supposedly evolved into a whole different, you know, world or something like that. Right. You know? Right. Those things should yeah. not be happening. And now it's being allowed. Like, they're allowing They're not mm. doing anything to, you know, stop Thank it. You. Like, they're encouraging yeah. it. Yeah. So that's the oh. problem. It's not, you know, mm. we don't. And then another thing, like, we don't want pity. We want mm. action. We want results. Right. We don't want right. nobody to feel sorry for us because we're all strong. Mm. Everybody's a strong individual. And that's another mm -hmm. thing, too. Like, there's this thing where they said, like, um, like this little analogy kind of thing where they was like, um, if a firefighter comes and sees a house, a, like a street of houses and there's one mm -hmm. house on fire, are you going to go to each house and put out a fire? Right. Or are you going to go to right. the people that need the help? So, right. like, that's common sense. You right. see a whole group of people being killed for no reason, like none, other than what's the justification? Oh, the color of their skin, so I feel threatened? No. Mm -hmm. You don't go about it that way. And that's, that is where this system has failed us yeah they have yeah. allowed these maniacs and these psychopaths with to walk around with guns and badges and think that oh somebody's gonna respect them no i personally mm. feel at the end of the day you respect people you get respect mm. point blank period there's no way around it like if you don't mm. respect me i don't care who you are i'm not gonna mm. respect you because at the end of the day i'm a human i'm doing just what you're doing like i'm breathing the same air you breathe in like ain't nothing different <laughs> like yeah. come on yeah <laughs> no like, exactly yeah. yeah it's really that simple and people just mm. make it seem like it's not right. and it's yeah. so bad it's yeah, bad. <laughs> yeah. But, well yeah. my last question for you would be if you could offer like encouragement resources support to other berkeley students what would it be um in regards to anything all of it um, honestly, just educate yourself, mm. like, in everything. Everything that you feel like, oh, you don't know about, ask questions. You got to, you know, even talk to the people that you feel like may not understand. Like, and it's not about yelling and about, you know, being rude to get your point across or trying to understand. Right. I feel like if you understand somebody or how, or you try to, how to, you try to understand how somebody is brought up, then that would give you a clearer understanding. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense as to why you act like that because you don't know, you know, mm. you know what I mean? So when you yeah. educate yourself, you're educating others. So I just think that right. that's very yeah. important. So yeah. that's it. Yeah, that's I, staying educated. You know? Yeah, yeah sure. Take care of yourself. Make sure that your mm. mental health is up there. Like, you know what I right. mean? Like, and yeah. then surround yourself with a lot of positivity, especially now with all this negative stuff going on like 2020 was a year let me tell you i know 2020 really, has been it was a decade <laughs> of something like i don't even know what yeah. it was but it was a decade of something but mm -hmm. i just feel like you know just take it you know suck it up and just look forward to the future like we yeah so like at this point we've seen it all we've been through pandemic right. we've been through you know right. i don't even know how to count the amount of people that i've heard been killed like i think I it's traumatic this year is yeah. traumatic and i think it's very traumatic focusing on your mental health is mm. what 
everybody needs to do and just take care of yourself. Sure. For, for sure. sure. That's great. Well, thank you so much for being on today. I love thank everything you. you had to say. Oh my yeah, God. like, this I really appreciate crazy. you sharing. And I know you don't know me, so, like, I, I yeah. take it as a privilege for um, you to take the time to talk to me. But I know that your words are going to be really important for a lot of people. It sounds like you're doing really so. wonderful things. Yeah, well, oh, I mean, it sounds like you. you're about to kick ass in life in general. So. <laughs> oh, my God. You know, yeah, like, before, so it's just, like, I've always wanted to do it, and it's like yeah. I have so much to say, but I'm so shy. <laughs> so oh, no, I don't. Well, like, podcast makes it easier, can't. you know. They can't see yeah, you. It does. <laughs> but you have oh, a voice, God. and I'm glad that you are using it. And I want to encourage you to keep using it. And I'll be excited thank to you. see, um, you know, see you when you graduate, and see how this year turns oh, out for you. Yeah, oh, my God, I would love so to do this again too. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Um, you could even start one yourself. It's really not that hard. Um, there's really? lots of podcasts. Yeah, there's tons of podcast apps out there. So um, something to think oh, about. Right. Thank yeah, you so use much. Your, use your voice. So, yeah, thank you. I hope you have a good rest of your day and a wonderful weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Have a great day, too. That's all for now. Join us next week for another episode of Friday Feels. Enjoy your weekend and stay safe. Be well.